This is, book is called Kishig and the Ojibwe Pterodactyls, and it is a story by Kishig Spade, as told to Celeste Pedri Spade. Illustrations by Robert Spade and Kenny Spade, a family endeavor. One hot summer day, after a powwow, Kishig and his family go to the beach for a swim. They're hot after dancing all day and need to cool off. While his younger brothers and dad are busy getting changed out of their regalia, Kishig and his mom walk ahead to the water's edge to feel the cool breeze off of the land. As Kishig and his mom stand on the shores of Gichigume, sometimes called Lake Superior, they see Nanabuzu in the distance. Nanabuzu reveals himself as a big piece of land. He looks like a giant man lying on his back, taking a nap in the great big lake. People have different names for Nanabuzu, depending on who they are and where they come from. Some people call him Wiskajak or Glooskap, while others call him the sleeping giant. Mom, I can see Nanabuzu. Kishig is excited to see Nanabuzu, for he is a great teacher that teaches people many things about life. Nanabuzu knows about things like animals, plants, and humans. For example, Nanabuzu helps teach us the importance of being patient and being helpful to others. All the Ojibwe pterodactyls live over there with Nanabuzu. Kishig says. Kishig's mom is confused. A Jimwe pterodactyl, she asks. Yes, you know, the Thunderbirds, Kishig replies. Kishig's mom smiles and asks, I wonder what they are doing right now. Well, it is afternoon, so they're out hunting, answers Kishig. What do you think they like to eat? Kishig's mom asks. Maybe moose? Moose. Or hamburger soup? No way, mom, Kishig says. They like to eat big fish. Fish, said Kishig's mom. What kind of fish? Oga? Pickerel? No, they eat gnus. Northern Pike, says Kishig, and big puffy snakes. Nanabuzu looks after the Ojibwe pterodactyls when they are hunting. I see, replies Kishig's mom, just like your dad and I look after you and your brothers. Look, mom, Kishig blurts out, Nanabuzu is with the Ojibwe pterodactyls right now. He looks at his mom. They are Nanabuzu's heart, you know. Do you mean they hunt near his heart? Kishig's mom asks while gazing at the napping Nanabuzu. No, mom, they are his heart, Kishig explains. When we hear the thunder coming from the sky and it gets really, really loud, it is the thunderbird beating its wings in Nanabuzu's chest. Kishig gives his mom a big hug. Just as the Thunderbirds are Nanabusu's heart, you and your brothers are my heart, Kishig. Your stories make me feel so happy and thankful. They are such good medicine. And then it tells you the story here of the Spade family. And Kishig Spade is a seven-year-old uh, Ashinami from Lake de Mills Lac First Nation. And then the other people that you see featured here in um, the book are his family. And you'll have to get your own copy about this book and read um, all about them. And maybe come up with your own story that you publish with your family. Enjoy.